Muhammad Ali is assured that tonight is his night. That is as confident of a ring walk as you will ever see. Lewis's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool like try to be a power puncher on a given night or do something ultra defensively that could be an advantage? Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy is going to be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So start one hand. He's going to be looking. He's going to react. Start the right hand. Just a little flinch of the right hand. Throw the left hand instead. Misdirection. Good block by Muhammad Ali. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Stay away from those. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. <laughs> Solid, accurate shot that hook by Lewis. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Lewis is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way.
Teddy, there's a certain fire that rages in Muhammad Ali. A lot of it has to do with the early days and some things he faced growing up in Louisville. Yeah, I mean, he's a sensitive person. He's a person that... He falls victim to that big hook. Keep moving. Get out there. The left hand coming into play by Lewis. Left to the body. Able to dismiss that body shot. Ali has steadied himself he's now. Head and he's not pulling back as much right now. That's what got him caught to begin with. Ali's legs appear to be underneath him now. Oh, what a power punch he was able to land there. So that's what you call setting up a trap. Not a mouse trap, but a punch trap. Step back a little bit, invited him in. Bang! Lewis is well off the mark that time. <laughs> Ali with a right hand. Let's see some more head movement. Let's see some more head movement. Get out of the way. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Ali's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. End of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just the big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. Good, all right? Breathe, good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. Tighten up your punches. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed Unload. than he was hurt. Unload, more punches. How about that left hand? Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Keep moving, keep moving. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Targeting a left hand down low. Good work defensively by Lewis. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. to that hook to the body. Still not moving enough. Now he ties move. up there. <sighs> Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Muhammad Ali's just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have to find a way to still have that light on. You know, find the window, find the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there. Be creative. He's beating you to the punch every time. You need to cut the ring off. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. There you go. Keep boxing just like that. You're moving. You're going to take this one. His opponent may regret the way he has started this fight tonight, finding himself already in a hole on Teddy's scorecard down three rounds. <laughs> Well-placed jab by Muhammad Ali. 
Jabs. Oh, and you can see now he's starting to target that jab with more and more confidence. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, a stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by Muhammad Ali. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. One, two, one, two. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. A good block. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Let it go! Focus! Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Scores up top with a left. And round four comes to an end. Ali's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using. Yeah, you know, you can only use certain things. Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. All right, listen, stop waiting on him. All right? You're waiting on him. I, I, mean, I, I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jam in his face and keep it there. Shorten your punches up. You don't need came here to work. Round number five has arrived. He missed with that headshot. Pace yourself. Nice block by Muhammad Ali. Halfway into round number five here. From the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date. He wants to get Unload. to it. More punches. <laughs> Keep moving. Keep moving. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Nowhere close that punch by Lewis. You let this guy get away. Come on, this is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You've got to move around. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this round.
the start of the sixth round. Jump on him. Nice. You're not focusing. And he engages in the clinch. Lewis is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, relax, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Off target with that hook. Hook! Hook! Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Lewis. Left and right. Back to the point. Ali's jab lands well. Scored well with that right hand to the body. A solid true uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Good solid right hand by Lewis. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. You got to breathe. Breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Here we go, action to start the seventh round. And just grabbing on to his opponent. is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. At the halfway point of round seven. Uppercut! Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Wow, what an uppercut. And he just holds on there. Pace yourself. Look at that hand speed with the hook from Ali. Seconds to go in the seventh. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. And that does it for this round. You want to get back into this fight. You got to keep working. Just keep working. Working that jab. You need to capitalize on his mistakes. 
I want to see that it. counter hook. Make him pay for his mistakes. Uh, all we need is water up there, that's it. Your jab works good when you use it. You don't need that, no. Throw you don't. As we start round number eight, chance to look at Teddy's scorecard, and nothing has really changed. He's been in complete control the whole night, almost getting his opponent into that desperate place, but I don't think he has the answers. Well, somebody needs to tell him. I'll tell you the answer. Somebody needs to tell him that it's not against the law to move your head. Make a punch face. the body, kid. Body shots. Denies his opponent and then goes right downstairs <laughs> against him. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Double jab by Muhammad Ali. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Lewis is showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, he'll make you miss, and then there's something That's coming it. back. He creates opportunities to hit you. You're not focusing. Now hugging on the inside. Not precise at all by Lewis. Relax, relax. Ten seconds remaining in this round. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Three minutes gone by in this round. Lewis is in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Really frustrating his opponent now. Lewis is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now. Muhammad Ali's crushed by a big right hand. Scored well up top. Ali's damage. Can you believe this? Each man has hurt the other. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Not much action as he just ties up. You're doing what you're doing. Ali's gotten through that choppy portion of the sea battle right here. I think he's going to be fine. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Left and right, left and right. He just missed that shot up top. Finish with a hook! Yeah. Last ten seconds of the ninth round. And 
And we come to the end of the round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Ali's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Keep moving, keep the hands moving, and you'll beat him to the punch. That nice one. Beautiful, beautiful. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test them, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Pace yourself. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Uppercut! Ali's using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. That's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. He has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spots. Pace yourself! an impactful right hand by Lewis. And he's holding. Body shots. Back to the body. Muhammad Ali's right hand scores well that time. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And that's the end of round 10. Good. He took a lot out of him that round. Keep that up. All right, you look great. Just don't go crazy in there. Box smart for me. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Lewis is getting himself back into this fight. Now, he's losing on your... Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. He's tired. Unload. Unload. More punches. Lewis is feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Muhammad Ali is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. He was he damaged moments he ago, but now he's got his feet right. back underneath him. Gets rid of that effort. You're not focusing. Move! See him holding on. Locks away that headshot. Relax, relax. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Lewis is banged by a right hand. Ali's got things going on his side now. Remember, this fight was going against him. Now, a good rally by him. Some of that body work there, even when he was losing the rounds, that body work, it's starting to pay dividends right now. Punch! Punch! Get out of the way from those punches! Move your head! Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand! 
Hook! Hook! Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give him a little confidence. Remind him, if you train for a tough okay. fight, you're ready for this. The 12th round has arrived. Lewis is coming out for this round here, knowing that he was tagged in that last round, Teddy. Now, different guys react in different ways when that happens. It can either bring you up or bring you down. Exactly. You hit it head on, you embrace it. You embrace it as a challenge. You say, okay, I'm going to show what I'm made of. Or you start to become small. You start to vanish a little bit. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Like a sledgehammer, that uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Body shot lands. It was the right. Ali's not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary. Not much movement at all. No, not at all. And it's feeding right into his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find Let them at go. all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of his placement here where he is. He's always in the same place. Keep it going. Focus. One, two, one, two. What a shot. Big hook comes in. Hey. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. <sighs> nice job there, hooking to the body. What impact from that uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Lewis's corner knows that their fighter still has much more to do. You cannot just sit back and be content on the stool, securing a lead. You have to go out and earn a win. You gotta take some risks, kid. You have to take some risks. You gotta let it all out. Just let it all out. This is it. We don't have a lot of rounds left, okay? I know you got the power to knock this son of a bitch. Start of a fresh round, but I'll tell you this, Teddy. I don't know that we're going to see the end of this round the way he was damaged. No, I would be surprised. I don't know that he could continue or that the referee would allow him to. is clearly affected by that. Muhammad Ali's, oh! He goes down. He has so much time now, he's gonna be forced to survive. is over. Ali's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight.
Teddy, it wasn't long ago we looked at your scorecard and he was trailing in this fight. Now he's sitting there with his arm raised with a knockout victory. Well, that's the benefit of those body punches early on. It paid off, got him to drop his hands, stop moving his head a little bit, and he got the knockout just when he needed it. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.